So, we're gonna need to get this kid a mammoth. And, uh, I don't rightly have any idea how I'm gonna go about doing that. <laughs> so this is gonna be a possibly dangerous episode for spoilers, because we may be looking at one in the first two minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go... Fuck off and look around the rest of the game, because I feel like I've seen everything there is to see up here. Uh, we have an ink bottle now, and the music cylinder... Yeah, there must be something I have now that I can interact with. Maybe I'll leave this place and I'll get a phone call. Who knows? Oh my gosh, Momo, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to just clip through you right there. Okay, hang on. So there are two different hitboxes happening here. There's the thing on top, and then there's the thing below. The thing below is the music player. I don't know what the thing on top is. I guess there's something inside of it I need to open up. Alright, let's take a look at that control panel. Because the control panel feels like it's something we should be doing now. Yeah, I don't recall seeing any clues anywhere as to how to figure it out. That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Oh, I hadn't caught that before. Something's missing from it. Do I need to feed it a picture of a mammoth? That's wood. When I switch this lever, it goes to different swatches of wood that's inside the machine. Okay, clearly, I don't- I haven't even seen references to wood in this game, so... I- I don't know. <laughs> there must be more information that I don't have to solve that puzzle. Alright, it's happening. I'm going to the walkthrough, because clearly I have missed something that would take me hours to find otherwise. Chalk that up for another spoiler punishment. Uh ha okay, alright, alright. Like I said, it's something that would take me ages because I was not planning to go back to the attic anytime soon. In oh, it's doing the thing again. Uh inside the attic with Momo, there is an etching of a mammoth on the wall. That I feel like I would have been looking for. But did not find. So we can basically just trace the mammoth. And then we can hear the secret that Momo has about who Hans Vorlberg was or something like that. Alright, where is this thing? Because I searched around here damn well and good. I think it's on this side? Oh my god, look at that. It's out of focus! It's crazy well hidden. Hans, 1932. Alright, let's sketch it. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, we're just doing a rubbing of it. That's too easy. Nice. I know this dude had to have made a clockwork mammoth at some point in his life. It's gonna be so cool to see. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Alright, kid, here's your mammoth. Do you know if Anna came here often with Hans? Momo want mammoth picture. Yes. Like Hans picture. Can I give it to him? Momo. Oh, I have to do it in my inventory, don't I? Wait, it's gone now. Oh no, here it is. Pencil tracing mammoth. Here you go, buddy. He looks happy. Mm, thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Follow Momo? Momo show his secret to Kate. Where are we going, Momo? <laughs> Look at him shuffle along. Okay, well shit, um... I was thinking that might be a cutscene, but now we have to actually manually follow him. Where did you go, Momo? I genuinely don't know. Oh, there he is. So we're going back into the town. <laughs> I love that the music has that one really dramatic spike there. Just for no reason. 
and I've heard the song enough now that I can always predict where it's gonna be. <laughs> oh yeah, he's going into the forest. Is he okay? Yes, he does. All right, nature time. Oh, is he taking me to the cave, I wonder? Probably not, because the cave was supposed to be way up in the mountains, I think. I mean, technically, we are up in the mountains. It's the Alps. Love the giant trees growing on boulders. Oh, yes, this place is so cool. Is that a rope bridge? Rope bridge? Rope bridge? Question mark. Oh, it's a regular bridge, but it's got a little creek under it. It's so pretty. I there doesn't seem to be anything you can interact with on these screens. It's just really pretty. Um, there's a boat up here. So I don't know if we're ever going to come back here for a reason, but this is going to be like walking through the jungle screens and <laughs> freaking Kapu Cave. Is this your secret place? Actually, I actually just start to think we're going towards the cave. <sighs> there you are, Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. All right, thanks, Momo. I thought this was actually gonna be something important, but here we are. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. What do you What do you Momo mean? Don't know Dan. Is Dan like not a good husband? Are you Are you like sowing the seeds of doubt in my mind that Dan is a bad husband? Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important oh, for Oh, shit. Hands. Okay, yeah, so he's taking me to the cave. What cave? Where? Momo, not liar. All right, I kind of want to hear about this. Right. Now we're here. What do we do? Kate and Momo throw stones in water. Cool. Momo, we're here because of the cave. Something to do with the cave. Momo and Kate, friends. That's right, Momo. Now let's go throw some stones in the water. This, this can wait, Kate. Tell me, Momo. Do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away, but hands come back, maybe. Uh, Momo. You are a strange one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varelberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like Hans. Really? Momo very proud. Momo looks like Hans. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by Hans. Difficult work. When Momo big, so he's saying that he Hans that made them Hans. all, which I was starting Momo to suspect. friend of automatons. Dude is like making his automatons in Siberia and shipping them here. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. I hit the wrong thing, actually. Momo, I wanted to... Momo? Yeah, yeah right-click cancels. Momo. Okay. Did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on a journey. Okay. Momo, I've got to go now. So is this where the cave is, then? Hmm. A dam? say maybe you shouldn't do that you might like flood the whole village broken. I've got to get a helping hand here so maybe we can ask Momo to help us push it uh was there a diverging path across the river over here I think there might be can you get your feet wet come on it's not even deep Anna I mean Kate Ooh. Is that the cave? I can't go that way. That's probably the cave. <laughs> so we're gonna try to undo the dam to get into it. 
Hey there, kiddo. Momo. I've got Momo. I need your help. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. This is a bad idea. Um, Momo strong. That's right, Momo. Rise up. This is literally... You don't know what this is going to do. You don't go to a foreign country, a village, and start messing with their infrastructure. You could, like, flood the whole town this way. That is clearly a lot of water that the dam is bearing. Great job, kid. Oops. What, am I soft lock now? <laughs> am I gonna use this to, like, make a little bridge across? Just, just tuck that log into my jacket real quick. Um. That looks broken. It is broken, yes. Shit, I don't know. You can walk across can't that. Go that way. Yes, you can. How about I beat Momo with a stick? Maybe there was something down the forest path that I missed. Yeah, something in the boat. Or? I don't think I could have taken this before. Wait, what did you just do? I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever. But how am I ever going to get a hold of it? By asking Momo for help! Or am I supposed to pry it off? That might be it. Yeah, that looks like it. Man, I wish I had a little wooden rowboat like that so bad. Ugh. That oar is all dirty and wet. What did you expect? It was sitting in a river. Ugh. What, so are we going to make Momo carry it? Is that... Is that the move? Because <laughs> you don't want to get your hands dirty, you're just going to make the child do it? Be a good boy and carry it for me? Momo say yes. <laughs> we could just do this ourselves. We're just making him our personal slave. I wonder when we're going to go back to that factory. I figured we were doing everything there. This shit would snap like a twig. Okay. Okay, Momo, you're crazy. Momo, very strong. Yeah, you're, you're cracked, you, Momo. Momo. Holy shit. What is your lifting regiment? <laughs> shit. <laughs> Alright, so that should make the water lower, which means we can go to the cave. So how- is it just gonna be sitting in there, I guess? This is where Hans took his fall. Shit, it's a big cave. It's a little spooky. Yeah, that would be the infamous cave painting. I don't see a doll, though. That would be the doll. In any other game, this would be like a terrifying moment, but they've done a good job of making this not scary. Whoa! It's an actual little woolly mammoth. With a little guy on top of it. Toy doll. Wow, it is really held up for being here so long. What a magical place. We do have some cool caves in Ohio, but none like this from what I've seen. I mean, especially none with, like, cave paintings in them. Uh, phone call. Who's this gonna be? Hello? Kate? Is that you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Oh, it's one of the girls? I recognize your voice, that's all. Like you just <laughs> or something. So, show the bee. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. 
This is so well, needless, so far, but I love I've it. What I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise heir I've got to find. And he's literally in Siberia. Oh, I talked to Lynn who bumped into Josh and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're gonna be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Zoinks. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the fair Lutra. Oh, this is a co-worker. Five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. <laughs> wow, lucky. It was absolutely I can relate to this. crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. <laughs> you know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250? 200? 150? $40. Shut up. Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <laughs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow by blow account of every moment oh, of Oh, Momo's not here. Adventure. I just realized that. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. Well, that was cute, but I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess we did learn that um, a bomb is about to go off back at the office when they find out that the sale is not concluded. Oh my, where the fuck did you go? No, really, where'd my buddy go? Also, have we flooded the village down below now? Oh. Made a connection in my head. I'll bet that we put this mammoth toy doll on top of that one little fancy compartment in the train. And then maybe it'll do something when it registers that the prehistoric mammoth doll has been put in that spot. Seriously, what happened to Momo, though? Did he get eaten by wolves? Like, I feel like we're kind of his guardian in this scenario. You should be more concerned, Kate. <laughs> I just want to acknowledge that this chick just took a millennium-old fucking <laughs> mammoth prehistoric toy doll and just shoved it in her coat pocket. That's like next, that's like Nancy Drew levels of irresponsible, like just taking ancient artifacts out of display cases and dropping them. Here comes Mr. F. So what's this going to do for me? Fucking nothing. Awesome. I don't need that for the time being. Well, what am I supposed to do? I thought that would like surely open up a secret compartment. Oh, can I twist this now? Shelves look no, I can't. Wait. Oh. Oh, there's, like, other ones? Could I look at this before? This is, like, a trophy room. Or something. I'm supposed to collect things and leave them here. These shells. Can I not pick up the mammoth? I don't need that. Oh, well, I'm kind of bummed out then, because I did find something important, and it kind of just turned into a dead end. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I... I'm gonna need another fucking pointer from the walkthrough. The game gave me, like, a whole tangent, and then just dropped it, because Momo disappeared. There's a whole room I didn't find. Oh, shit. It's in the factory. Gosh, it's by the forklift, dude. I could have sworn I looked around there and there wasn't anything. So there's... I think it said that there's a door over this way? That? Oh my god, it's hidden behind the forklift! Oh, that is so aggravating. Ooh! What the hell is this saw trap I'm looking at? That one's moving. What? Can I crank him down? Shit, he's waking up! Wait, are you the one they talked about? Oscar? Is that your name? 
Can you speak? Oh, many thanks. Shit, indeed. he can! I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, Dude, it's nobody C3PO. here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? Kim Wexler. My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, this is Oscar. I am model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential He's task. the conductor. Oh, shit. All right, can let's talk with him. To you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are model XZ2003. My feet are model XZ2005 underscore B. <laughs> Be careful. The model XZ2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. So we want B, not A. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. Thank you, Oscar. You are already my favorite character in this game. Imagine a world where we, like, instead of computers, we just got really, really fucking into clockwork. That would be awesome. I want to. Oscar, I yes. I'll I'll ask him about those things later. But right now, I just want to see what we do with this punch card business, because this sounds like it could be a puzzle. I won't lie, this place is mad freaky. <laughs> it reminds me of um, oh, what do you call it? That old Scooby Doo episode, um, the backstage rage with like the marionette and the puppet master. That might be my single freakiest episode of uh. Uh, what's new Scooby-Doo? Or Scooby-Doo, where are you? Is this really all the screens here? Oscar's card. Well, shit, I guess we'll talk to him because I can't figure out where to go. Nothing seems easily interactable. Hi, it's me. In the situation I am in, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Alright, let's just go through everything. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, model XZ. Please, my friends call me Oscar. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. <laughs> this fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I'm sorry. <laughs> I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. Uh, mission. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. What did you do with the paperwork? Do you know where I could find... Oh. I cannot reply to this question with... Okay, so try her office with the paperwork. As bizarre as it may seem, I have the impression you are the only person who can help me. I very much doubt it, Kate Walker. Why do you say that? What good am I without appendices, I ask you? So he needs hands before he can help us. Does the name Hans Varlberg mean hands. something to you? I mean legs. Of course. He created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker. But I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. <laughs> this guy's fucking great. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But Kate Walker... You have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. And we're going to be on it. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Tom Walker, Hanks and Polar that a train without passengers ass. is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Uh. You are a very strange robot. Stop using that word. Automaton, if you please. You can't use that word, I'm Kate. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, 
I think so. Uh, Anna. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the oh, delay he doesn't in my know that she's process. dead. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Austin. What a way to tell him! What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Oh, he doesn't get Broken. it. Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that she's really bricked, is dude. most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. He doesn't have emotion. Oscar, I'm experiencing some problems with the general console. It looks like I need more than your card to operate it. To my knowledge, the console is in perfect working order. It's the it's the thing okay. upstairs. I guess I must have forgotten something. Okay. Most certainly, yes. I okay. Yes. Oh, right. Let's fucking go. I get it now. So, we're going to put his punch card into the thing. And I think that's gonna like read a custom order of what to make. Is is steampunk the same thing as like clockwork shit, or would that be clockpunk? I think I think it is, but like, yeah, I think steampunk is like w what this is. And now what? Doesn't look like that works. Cool. Wait, this one lights up. Oh, okay, so if I hit that switch, then it activates. I don't know why. That was that was literally just by chance. So now the assembly line is operating. Legs for my boy. Um... I don't know if the game just expected me to click through that until I got the solution, but that's what happened. He said X2005 underscore B is what he needed. Um, hopefully I did not get him the 2005 underscore A legs. Hey, girl! Look what I got! Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope I haven't made a mistake. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. Listen here, buddy. You're taking the bargain bin boots whether you want them or not. I will go to Burlington Coat Factory and just get you feet there. It must depend on the kind of wood. Oh, I should have taken a better look at him. It's probably a specific kind of wood that is, like, on his person. Okay, so that must be the button that makes legs. I hope I haven't made a mistake. These feet are Confound you. Kate Walker. What about them is incorrect? Okay, so... He looks like he's actually... If that's his skin tone, is the wood, then he's like a pale grayish wood. Let's go see about that. So was there like a pale gray blue wood? That one. That's That's gotta be it. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope I haven't made a mistake. These feet there is are no incorrect, God. Kate Walker. Oh my... Ugh! That was literally the palette that matched his skin tone. What if it's this really dark burgundy one? That could be. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. Alright. I ain't playing, bro. Hi. In the... What do I need to do? As bizarre as <laughs> Fuck it all. I'm already eating so many peppers at the end of this playthrough. Where what how does this console work? I, I don't understand anything about it. Have a look at the advertising brochure to see what color the legs should be. What this thing? From local wood most sophisticated ones are use more precious resources, such as ebony imported from Madagascar. Okay. Alright. I feel you. I guess it's that. I, I didn't mean to... What are you doing? Why is it different this time? Is this because I did it correct, or did I just put in some different input? Fuck. 
fancy wood. Yeah, something tells me I did it right this time. Wow, they look exactly the same as the other pairs. So it really was just a guessing game. I could have just guessed long enough and gotten it. Alright, if you got a problem with these legs, then I'm going to smack you across the face with some of them. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Kate Walker, I see you managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Damn right I did. He self-installs them. Oh, it's like Legos. Okay. You put one foot in front of the other. Oh, no, Allow he just me knows to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Where are you going? I must find my train. Its departure is imminent. Well, I'm fucking going with you, bro. Actually, I can't think if there's anything left here that we haven't dealt with yet. So maybe it is time to get on that train. We haven't been able to get into the main mansion. But I don't know if we're going to need to. Maybe the train won't take off until we find the little trinkets and knickknacks that go on each of those different, um... Oh, you know. We find the special items. I don't suppose he'd be in the interior. Shit! No, there he is! Oh my god, he scared me. Hello, Oscar. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. <laughs> we were procrastinating so hard. I... I have decided yes. to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? Fuck. My ticket? What are you talking about? No the rules ticket. clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. Okay, well... I don't think I have money. So that could be a problem. <laughs> oh my god, he works the ticket booth too. Aw, oh, that is so fucking neurotic. Hey, don't I know you from it's somewhere else? You? What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. <laughs> Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Got me. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why, do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? Shit, get your ticket. A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. Erm, um, yeah. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then. Nice. Train ticket for the Mechanical Railway, departing from Valadilen. This ticket is valid for one person and should be present to any official of the Mechanical Railway when so required. Alright. We're official. Metro officers practice authorization for access to all or part of the movable, immovable estate constituting part of inheritance. What? Oh. Description of the object. So... The present document, stamped by the recognized permitting authority, entitles the holder of this document to access the affirmation property. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. 
This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? Yeah, we need to the get notarized. The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Okay. I think I know what to do with that. Uh, there is a stamp in the notary's office way back in town that is like a little clockwork wind-up dude. We could probably just sneak in there and get him to stamp it. Because I'm assuming we need to have some sort of legal permit to take off with this train. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Ink. I need ink for it, don't I? <laughs> there you go. Okay, now stamp that bitch. Approve with a U. That must be how they spell it in this part of the world. Well, I don't know, maybe the game's just being weird. I think that was kind of illegal for us to just forge a notarization like that. Oh well, Nancy Drew has done worse. Oh shit. Sorry, I glitched it. Ignore that. <laughs> We're just in the void, it's okay. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lorman. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Yeah, I didn't know that either, buddy. Oh. Yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Uh -huh. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I have no idea. <laughs> love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Dude just cannot stop losing. Sorry, Dan, but this train waits for nobody. Uh, here is your notarized document, sir. Here. This is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. <laughs> Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. And now, here is my ticket. Something tells me that Momo is gonna be a stowaway on this train. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Designed I, to accommodate want to break any two rules. very important objects. Haven't I got those two objects? The music disc and the, um... I feel like I have them. I mean, he's probably referring to... The shelf and these two. Maybe this isn't a very I important object. Alright, so I'm guessing we have to go get the big old music box and bring it here somehow. Maybe the game will just allow me now to uh, go right to the study and take that music box. Also, I was wearing this shirt. You're, I'm, you're not being gaslit. I've been wearing this shirt the whole episode. So we're exceptionally low on leads at this point. There's just a big mansion that hasn't been broken into yet. And, uh... I mean, this music box. Can I take the music box now that we know it's important? Oh, this thing's jammed. How do I unjam it? I want oh, to take it. jammed. What?
Okay, so... So a hint, not a spoiler, a hint was provided me by the Discord that I do need another cylinder in order to get what I need from that music box. And that cylinder is somewhere that I don't know. I was not given a briefing on where it is. I should take a look at uh, the room I found Oscar in because I feel like I didn't examine that as thoroughly as I could have. I wonder if the funeral is over by now. Maybe I can go up to where the funeral is being held. That would be a development. Oh, the gate is open. All right. So the funeral must be over now. Another... F oh my god, that's a lot of phone calls. Hello. Okay. So what's new? All right, is this my boss? We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate. Don't beat around off. the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? Siberia. And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir... It's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things. The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Oh, we're from Get New York. The picture. Yes, Mr. Marshall. I instantly like you, you less, Kate. You can count on me. I... <laughs> Darn it. Okay, uh, so Mr. Marson is, uh, a bit, a bit angry, it seems. Uh, let's go in the house. The house is probably where we could find the thing we need. And it's nope. locked. Let's go. Alright, well, we can at least go find the crypt. It's probably that big fancy one above the ground. Just normal cemetery music. Is there nothing over here? I can go down this path at least. Oh, that would be the... the Vorlberg family crypt, I bet. I can't go that way. Hmm. How might one open it? Maybe it doesn't open. Could be that simple. Oh wait, I can go this way. Yes, this is clearly the intended route. What's this side door? What's this thing on the wall here? Oh, gear's missing! Yes! Finally, I can offload these pieces of shit from my inventory. Alright, do a thing. a weird door. It's like a subway. Oh, it's an elevator. It's a curved elevator. Alright, well, good thing it let me in. Uh, I see an automaton right in front of me. There's a bird's nest up here. Let's take a look at this dude. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Sheet music, I bet. He plays the bell tower, huh? How about a fax? What a cozy place for a bird nest. Well, um... I don't suppose sheet music is going to be easy to come across up here. Oh, there's a door. Oh, that's the way I came. <laughs> So this is the chapel, I take it. Oh, he was an organist, wasn't he? Oh, I so want to hear an automaton play the organ. I fucking love the organ, dude. Why did Momo have those gears, I wonder? Perhaps he hid something up there. And didn't want anyone to get it. Alright, with this door open, at least. I've been finding so many locked exteriors, it's pissing me off. 
Yes, we got into somewhere. Major W. Okay, what's in the tabernacle? Nothing. Cool. Um, guess we'll go this way. Professor. I can't. Okay, these are all locked. Oh, but there's, I need a there's a keyhole hidden in the top right corner. That's a very disguised keyhole. This is a little church. Where's this door go? Locked. No point. Okay, how about this way? Ooh, there's something on the side of the dresser. What is that? Oh, this thing's jammed. Well, what is it? What kind of dresser has a crank on the side of it? Golly, this game just gives you no threads to hang on to. Like, I'm enjoying the experience and the music and the adventure of it, but it's so easy to just lose the thread. Oh, I can look at the crucifix. I didn't think that was a hitbox before. There's a key. All right, we're back. We are back and in business. Okay. Key goes here. There's the music card. The... Priests wear. Another music card. Oh boy, I can see a puzzle coming. A third music card. Let's go. Tight Zucchetto in there. And a fourth music card. Okay. I'm gonna have to arrange these in a special order. Maybe. Ah, this thing's jammed. And I can't twist the, the the lever on the side of it for some reason. Oh, I can on this drawer. Okay. Oh, wow. That would have taken me a long time to figure out. I was lucky. Wind up key and a letter. To my successor, the Valladolid Parish Priest, the sanctity of confession is a sacred vow, so these revelations are the result of much soul-searching and reflection. One day in March 1938, Rudolf Vorarberg knocked at my door. I was a young priest then, and was overawed by the dominant personality of the town's most important figure. I remember it was raining that day, and beneath his dripping hair, Monsieur Vorarberg's face was the very expression of eternal pain itself. Through gritted teeth, his eyes swimming with grief, he announced that his son Hans had just died. He wanted me to come immediately to bless the body. I entered the dark drawing room at the family home. Hans' coffin was set in the middle, sealed shut. Monsieur Vorberg explained to me that he wanted no one to see the body of his son. Hans' badly mangled corpse had been discovered at the bottom of a precipice. It was presumed that he had slipped and fallen badly. Despite his 18 years of age, the young Vorberg did not have all his faculties. I believed him. I led the funeral and officiated the mass and burial. We buried Hans Vorberg with all the dignity and solemnity befitting such a tragedy. Life indeed hangs by a thread, and I would have surely forgotten this episode. Only several years later, after her father's death, Anna Vorlberg had an accident at the factory and nearly died. Such a close call with death seemed to awaken her a need to confess. What I heard that day would haunt my dreams thereafter. She told me that the body of her younger brother Hans was not at rest in the family tomb for the simple reason that he was still alive. I had blessed and sanctified an empty coffin. I had assisted and sanctioned a masquerade staged by Rudolf Vorlberg himself to exercise the blind hatred he felt for his son. His son had left and he felt betrayed. A man who preferred to believe and make others believe his son was dead, rather than accept this truth, had shamefully deceived me. What kind of priest was I, and what kind of priest would I become? Our merciful Father alone will be my judge. It is my duty to inform you that one of your flock is still unaccounted for. I leave this terrible secret in your hands to do with what you will. Leonard, Leon Bernard, priest. Wow. That's a pretty heavy note right there. We got a great big wind-up key, and I'm not really sure what it's for, but hey, my inventory is looking really healthy again. So there was a secret compartment in the middle drawer. That was weird. I wouldn't have associated it to be on that side. 
Uh, it's a Vortalberg key. I'm trying to think if anything left that may need a Vortalberg key. Probably the dude upstairs. Yeah, that's not going to open very easily, nope. I don't think. I think that there are just some locked doors in this game that do not open. And that's perfectly fine. I just need to stop banging on every single one of them. <laughs> All right there, lad. Let's see what you think of the red punch card. Silent Night. Okay, how about the blue punch card? Here comes the bride. So this is... Okay, so the first one was Christmas music. This blue one was a wedding song, is what the punch card was. What's the purple one? Evidently the correct one, because of the sound it's making. It's the funeral march. That's so raw. Take off his hat. Oh! I no longer need these punch cards. Oh, but I wanted to hear what was on the green one. That was a really, not really a, a hard puzzle, but that was a cool piece of environmental storytelling. I really liked that. It relied on the viewer to recognize a tune to distinguish what each punch card was for. Someone comment down below what the green one plays, I'm curious. Since Kate just decided to throw the freaking punch cards out the window. It's probably gonna cost a lot to get replacements made. Alright, hopefully this is where I'm gonna find the remaining items that I need for the train. Musical jump scare coming. Get, get ready. Get ready. Oh, shit, shit. I didn't even hear it. Whoa, it's like a really fancy underground crypt. Oh, Henry Bollet would never. He could never. So we know that... Hans's coffin is going to be empty, which means that there's really no shame in uh, invading it. <laughs> so I guess we're going to do that now. I've never been in a crypt before like this. Well, I have, it like a museum tour, I think, but I guess it's that easy to pull out a coffin. And there's that thing we need. Mountain fall kills local figure. All right, this would be the newspaper. Vorlberg family was struck by tragedy yesterday. Rudolf Vorlberg discovered the lifeless body of his son Hans at the bottom of a precipice. Loose rocks and poor visibility occasioned by the morning mist were probably the cause of the young man's fall. This is the theory put forward by the family, as there were no witnesses. Hans had just turned 18 years of age. Eight years ago, he suffered a similar serious accident, from which he never fully recovered the use full use of his mental faculties. Despite living almost as a recluse, he was still a well-known figure, as the future of Warburg Manufacturing lay in his hands. We at the Valle de Len Gazette wish to extend our deep sympathy to his family and express our sincere condolences to Rudolf Warburg and his daughter Anna, who today become the sole inheritor of the Automaton Factory. So that was Anna becoming the sole heir. And here we are, a music disc. Let's go back and play that baby. Oh, we're just going to leave it wide open now. Do you realize what that's going to look like, Kate? So the next person who comes down here is going to find Hans's crypt open, pulled open with the casket open and empty. They're either going to think that he was grave robbed or that he got up and walked away. Like, you're going to incite hysteria. So, the last one of these little discs that we found had music on it. I really actually really like that too, it was pretty. But I wonder if this one's going to have someone talking. 
seems to me to be appropriate, since it sounds like this is the way that Anna used to communicate with Hans, is that she would send him his little voice tubes. Alright. Valadolin voice cylinder. Since you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. He was but climbing Hans, for the toy. That's how he got hurt. Too high. Do be careful, Hans. I wonder. Hans, be careful. <laughs> for weeks, my brother lay in a coma, hanging between life and death. And then one morning, he opened his eyes. But I knew he would never be the same again. We never did return to the cave, and to this day, I have never ever betrayed our secret. So, we could have just listened to this little QuickBooks recap, oh. instead of um, actually having to read that whole journal. But okay, I did it. Doesn't matter. Okay, the little top popped off of it. Well, all right, that's probably the last thing that we need. We're on our way out of here now. Goodbye, Valadolin. You were cool and frustrating at the same time. I have left your crypts open and your dams flooded. I hope that this town will never recover. Alright. Here we are. Hans and Anna Mechanical Toy. Now I can throw the voice cylinder in there. Looks like there's going to be two more eventually. Can I interact with this gizmo? And if I were to watch one of those cylinders again? Watch one of the cylinders? I'm curious. What happens... Is something different gonna happen if I play the first one I got? No, I'm just gonna play the song. But it's in a lower pitch. Is that, in, is that intentional? It's slowed down is what it is. Give him that train ticket. Oscar, we're out of here, buddy. We're moving on to better things. Right. Everything is in order, then. The train is finally ready to leave. Damn right it is. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. All right, we're just taking off. Oscar just needed a second to open and close the door. Man, I love trains so much. I would probably be pretty anxious about being on a train driven by a machine. Oh, it's only two cars, I hadn't realized that. It's like a private jet, but it's a plane. Hey, but it's a train. We're just going right to Siberia. Ooh. 
There's palm trees here? What? What the hell is this place? I thought we were going north. Well, that'll be a good place to pick up next time, then. Thank you all for your hints. I know we've been having to burn through some spoilers, and there's going to be recompense for that. There will be hell to pay, but I am enjoying the adventure run nonetheless. See ya.